This is the Spider-Man symbiote. Oh, it's just unbelievable, guys. It's so freaking cool. So you've got Spidey in the middle here and he's like trying to tear the Venom symbiote off and the Venom's like, like um, you know, manifesting above him as he's pulling it off and all the like little strands and tendrils. Oh, it's just unbelievable. And uh, he's on the clock tower. Of course, he uses the sound from the bell uh, to try and uh, pull Venom off. Uh, look how beautiful it is. And it's like weathered and, and uh, like, like aged and rusted. Oh, it's just, it just looks so good. Um, and then let me get you uh, a better look at Spidey and Venom. So you've got Spidey here. And uh, you can see the black Spider-Man symbol on his chest um, being revealed as he's pulling these strands off. And what I really like is, um, so here's Venom's face. You can see the teeth and the, the eyes. Um, so the, the parts where, where Venom's kind of put back together are like a matte black. And then the parts where he's being pulled apart are this like glossy, shiny color. Oh, it's just so cool. Look at this arm. So it's only like partially, you know, reconstituted back together. He's got the claws. It's just, it's just freaking unbelievable, guys. I can't tell you how cool it is in person. Just, ah, oh, just amazing. I love it. Okay, uh, and then we have uh, Nova. Uh, so this will go nice uh, with those of you guys who've got some of the Guardians of the Galaxy line. I'll give you a look at his helmet and the screaming face. You can see the mouth, the teeth look so good. Nice shiny gold on the suit. And he's got this ball of energy. I feel like this piece actually looks best from the side, like this kind of angle. You can see him really throwing the energy ball, if you know what I mean. It just looks really, really cool uh, from the side. Um, but yeah, let me get you a look at the base. So it's like a, it looks like a ship um, with all this blue energy inside. Um, and then he's got one foot here and one foot there as he's kind of kind of jumping like that so yeah it's got the energy ball get you a better look at the suit some nice textures and little details on it I think it's come out really nice all right and then we have the venom arise um, this is absolutely massive it's like as tall as the the hulks and and believe me those are absolutely enormous um this guy's huge but it's so cool let me get you a look at the mouth so he's got all the like gross teeth and the uh the like green slime so he's got one arm up and then a second one uh, grasping onto this like angel statue as all of his tendrils are uh, wrapped all around it um, and there's all these like little uh, mini uh, venoms uh, that you can see there um, and there's a few more like here um, so all the venom symbiotes so here's one of the feet uh, and it comes up kind of like this uh, he's, uh, he's really um, quite dynamic it looks like he's about to kind of leap uh, off this statue I'll get you a better look at the skin and the and the symbol on the chest. So the skin's like a bluey black and then it's got these like dark black uh, veins kind of running through it. Here's the white symbol on the chest. Really, really nice. So um, around the base, there's also these like cherubs and all this kind of rebar and things uh, that he's destroyed. Here's a bit of the back, can't go back there. He's huge, guys. Huge, massive. Let me, let me try and get you a shot next to the Spider-Man symbiote. And the Spider-Man symbiote is big, but yeah, this is uh, very big, um, but I really like it. All right, and then next up we have uh, Mr. Sinister and then the uh, mighty Jane Foster Thor. 
So I'll give you a look at Sinister. So this is a little bit different look for Mr. Sinister. It's the Dawn of X version. Uh, he's got this kind of smirking face and he's got his arms out wide. Uh, and then it's this uh, like alien planet base. So it's got these eggs, uh, kind of egg things that are hatching. So there's these hands coming out here and this tentacle uh, like uh, wrapping around his leg and uh, some more hands coming out here. And then here's a look at his face. Big grin and the pointy teeth. All right, and then we have the Jane Foster Thor, Mighty Thor. Get you a look at her portrait. So some nice detail on the helmet. She's got the gritted teeth and she's got the hand back uh, like she's about to throw uh, Mjolnir. So she's kind of uh, leaping up into the air, kind of flying. Um, I think that looks really good. So there's the nice detail on the armor and her clothing as well. So there's these crystals, like ice crystals on the base. And then this uh, shield with the arrows in it. And then this sword with the raven on it. And um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch it on the camera, but there's actually the writing on Mjolnir, which I thought was really cool. I think she looks great. Okay, and then we have the Galvatron next, the newest one from the Transformers line. I think this looks awesome, actually. Um, I love this uh, like rich purple, but it's like a matte purple. I think it looks really good. Um, it really sets off uh, this gold. So he's got this like big gold cannon attached to his wrist. Um, that looks really, really cool. And then from his other hand, he's got this chain um, with the blue orb kind of dangling off it. And then more gold on the base, these big kind of tusks. Um, and then you can see the treads at the back there. And then uh, this is his transformed state. You can see the treads again and the cannon great for the Transformers line. All right, so these are facing the other way, so we'll do the Devastator next. So this one is Batman when he transforms into Doomsday. You can see all the torn clothing as the spines are like punching through uh, his clothes. More big spines on the base here as he's punching this wall. All right, and then we're gonna do these halts. I am so, so excited. All right, so there's a green version, obviously, and then the gray version, and then there's like three different versions of the green version. <laughs> so, but let me show you all of them. I'm so excited. Okay, so uh, here is the classic version. So he's got these gritted teeth. You can see he's got the like glowing green eyes, uh, but look at the physique on this guy. Oh man, it's just so outstanding. Look at all the muscle striations. You can see the veins popping out. Oh, it's just crazy. And then, okay, for a sense of scale, uh, here is my fist in his hand. Um, it just absolutely dwarfs my hand. These guys are so huge. Okay, let's have a look at the pants all ripped and torn up as he's like busting out of them. <laughs> and then you can see uh, the like gamma on the base. It says a radiation hazard. And then they've got these cool like storytelling elements on the base. You can see like the evolution of Hulk and stuff. It just looks absolutely fantastic. Um, and then there are these uh, different versions you can get. So this is the classic Kirby version. You can see the bigger brow um, and the bigger lip. And he's got that sort of grimace. Looks so, so good. I love it. So this one has a fist and an open hand. Then we've got two open hands. And then we've got two fists on the modern screaming version. This looks freaking amazing as well. Look at that mouth, I love it. These look so, so freaking cool. And then so, um, so you can pick which version that you want, um, or you can get this version, which comes with all three torsos, which is just absolutely insane. Of course, these bases say uh, the Incredible Hulk on them, uh, but it's so freaking cool, guys. It's so, so cool. Okay, and then I'll show you guys uh, the gray version. Again, this is like the classic, um, the old school Kirby uh, with the 
with the, um, uh, the big brow, the more ape-like appearance, and of course the grey skin um, as, as it was originally. So he's got the orange-tinged uh, veins and the kind of orange nails, and then he's got the blue pants on this version, oh, and he's got the blue eyes as well, like the steely blue eyes. And then the same storytelling kind of base. So let me show you. So this one's like the evolution of Hulk up to Maestro. And then we have Banner as he turns into Hulk. And then we have all the different villains. We've got Red Hulk. Uh, we've got Abomination. We've got Juggernaut. And then we've got the explosion, uh, the radiation uh, with Banner. So, so cool. I hope you guys like these as much as I do. I think they're freaking awesome. I'm just gonna quickly interrupt this tour to tell you guys about my awesome sponsor, Spec Fiction. If you're enjoying the collectibles in this video and you want some of your very own, then you should definitely check out specfictionshop.com. They stock a huge range of premium collectibles, both big and small, including the ones you see in this video, with great prices and worldwide shipping. So if you're interested in finding some sweet collectibles from comics, films, anime, and more, then you can't find a better place to buy. So I'll leave a link for you guys in the description, or you can check them out at specfictionshop.com. Okay guys, and then we have the brand new uh, Superman Justice uh, Diorama. And so he goes with the uh, Batman Sanity and the Wonder Woman Courage, and they make this like, trinity and they look so so good together okay so let me show you so we've got superman in the middle and he's like he's like flying up uh, with his fist in the air and he's surrounded by brainiac and then mix splicked <laughs> i think um and then we've got lex in the power armor and then we've got bizarro and then we've got metallo and then we've got zod Ah, uh, and then we've got Cyborg Superman. There's some really nice detail on this one, actually. Really cool. And then we've got Doomsday all reaching up towards him. And he's battling them in the middle. And then the base is like the Fortress of Solitude with all the crystals. Looks really, really good. And they just, yeah, they look amazing, the three of them together. Okay, then we've got a couple more new stuff here. We've got the beautiful... Batwoman Samurai. So I'll get you a look at her face. It's a beautiful face. So she's got her hair up uh, with like the pins in there. Uh, and then she's got this tattoo on her arm. Uh, and then you can see the Japanese inspired armor. Loads of detail on it. Um, you can see, so she's perched on this um, kind of aged cauldron. Um, and it's got this like smoke demon coming out of it. So it's like hands and like little ghostly faces and stuff. It's really, really cool actually. And so she's perched on that, like about to jump off. Uh, I'll try and get you a little bit of a look at her cape because uh, it looks really, really cool as it kind of uh, splays out behind her. And then we have uh, the Drowned. This one's from the Batman Dark Knight's metal storyline. So she's got the eye patch there and this trident and you can see her corset and the nice jacket kind of all weathered uh, and ripped at the ends. Um, and then she's got this like Kraken guy on the base. Let me get you a look at him. He's got the teeth and the eyes and he's all scaly and spiny. And so he kind of uh, dips into the base there and he's got the hands and there's more hands coming out here. Um, and then there's all the nice uh, detail on the water and she's kind of standing on part of a ship it's come out really nice. Okay, and then we've got the Batman uh, Death Metal on bike. Uh, this is one of my favorite new pieces as well. I think the bike uh, has kind of stolen the show for me um, because it's like the head of this bat <laughs> and then all of these bones, but the bike has like little bat wings. <laughs> So freaking cool <laughs> you can see them on the seat there as well um, but then yeah you can see like real chains and stuff on the bike it is awesome uh, but let me get you a look at Batman so it's like a gritted teeth Batman and he's wearing this jacket uh, with all the spikes on it and he's holding this scythe 
uh, and he's gripping the handlebars there. But you can see all these like little chains and skulls and stuff uh, on his waist and uh, buckles and things on the boots. And then, uh, so he's driving um, the bike up this log and you can see all the mud kind of spraying out um, from the sides. And then there's these like zombie guys popping out of the ground. Um, this one's got a knife <laughs> in its mouth, which I really like. And then this one has a cowboy hat, <laughs> which is really cool. I really like that. Um, but yeah, overall, a really awesome piece. I think it's really cool. Uh, very big, if anyone's thinking of getting this, it's very tall. Um, okay, let me swing you guys around here uh, because we're gonna look at the Venom Hulk. Um, so this is also one of my uh, favorite new pieces, which I didn't expect at all, but in person, I think it's really, really cool. So it's got these two different torsos. One's a more venomized one and one's, uh, he's still a bit more Hulk. So obviously the venom has escaped and he's like climbing up his body, trying to take him over. Um, and he's all like contorted and twisted, trying to fight it off. Um, and you can see his face. Uh, so uh, one of his eyes is still his eye and one's like the venom eye, but look at the little venom pointy teeth uh, coming in the mouth there. It's so freaking cool. And then of course the symbiote's like all over him. So one of his hands uh, is like the venom hand and one is still the Hulk hand. And then the same with his feet. One's kind of venomized, one's still uh, more like the Hulk foot. Um, but then here's the canister that the symbiote escaped from um, and it's now trying to take him over. I think that looks so freaking cool. All right, and then uh, here it is with the venom torso on. So you can see uh, it's, it's taken over his head. It's got the green saliva on it. Uh, look how good the teeth look. Um, and there's a little green tinge to the eyes, which I thought was cool. You can still kind of see Hulk under there. I think it looks great. And when I say great, I mean like disgusting, <laughs> but I assume that's how it's meant to look. All right, we've got a few more new things down here as well. Um, so we've got the thing from Fantastic Four. I'll get you a look at his portrait. Love the teeth and uh, the rock texture they managed to get on this guy is really, really good. I really like the look of it. Uh, but most of all, I'm hoping that uh, this guy means they're going to do the rest of the Fantastic Four and a Doctor Doom as well. Um, so there's like bits of, it looks like a plane, so there's like a wing back there and like a rotor here. Yeah, hope, uh, fingers crossed for more Fantastic Four everyone. So uh, this one's been reworked since I was last here, the Magneto Dawn of X. So he's a bit bigger, a bit chunkier, stockier. Uh, than last time as he's striding through um, this uh, it's like a sentinel head uh, that he's walking straight through and uh, he's like standing on uh, the little pieces as he's walking out of it and gripping his cape okay and then next new one is nightcrawler uh, so there's a lot going on in this one so uh, let me break it down we've got some sentinel fingers here and uh, we've got the purple smoke that's the bamf uh, when he teleports so the sentinel hands tried to grab him and he's bamfed up to where it can't get him anymore and he's in this like acrobatic pose uh, with all these sabers uh, kind of battling uh, with the sentinel so let me get you a look at his face he's got the pointed teeth of course gold eyes and here's a little look at his suit and then he's got a couple of different sabers in his hands and then one in his tail, <laughs> which I really like that. Okay, and then we have the Superman and Batman classic at the front of the store here. So we've got Superman, looks like he's on a tank. Uh, so there's little explosions kind of coming out of it. Uh, but this kind of uh, looks like a tank tread there. And then we've got Batman uh, looking very stoic as he's shooting the Batarang, uh, like about to zip off. So yeah, very classic looking costume um, and the big cape at the back there. And he's got a Batarang in his hand and there's, there's one stuck in here as well. Okay, and then we have the Superman classic. 
Uh, so he's holding uh, like a half of a cyborg, or like a cybernetic enemy. You can see all the wires kind of hanging out of it as he's holding it up. Uh, and then he's got the arm that he's ripped off here. And then so we've got the explosion on the base. Uh, this kind of looks a bit like a ship. Um, not 100% sure, uh, but he's flying off it uh, with the, yeah, the torso in his arm. Okay, so let's go back here because we have the crystal version of the Superman Justice diorama. So all the villains done in crystals like the Fortress of Solitude. So it gives a different kind of look. All the villains kind of frozen in time in this crystal and then Superman in the middle uh, in color. Uh, so that's similar to what they did with uh, the Batman Sanity uh, smoke version. They did all the villains in this kind of smoke and it was just Batman in the color in the middle. Okay, got a couple more new stuff over here that I'm excited to show you. Uh, so there's the Wolverine X-Force version. Um, so he's on this Egyptian base to match with the other X-Force statues. And there's these tentacles kind of all over the place and wrapping around his legs. Uh, so we've got Wolverine in the middle here. Let's see if I can focus on his face for you. He's got the red eyes, he's screaming. He's got the one arm slashing up and he's got the second arm back like that. And then here is the second torso. And it's kind of a, a bit of a mutton chops kind of a, a torso. So he's got the, the beard coming in the sides there and he's got the arms uh, straight out. Of course, you can pop this torso on here if you prefer it. But I really like this slashing one actually. Um, I think it gives a lot more action. I think it suits the scene more because, you know, there's tentacles grabbing him and, and zipping everywhere and stuff. And it, it feels a lot more like, like he's fighting them in his mid-action. All right, and then we've got the Jean Grey. Let me get you a look at her portrait. <laughs> there's Brian. <laughs> oh, all right, so we've got the Jean Grey and she's using her powers. So we've got the energy effect coming out from her head. And then uh, a bit different to the classic uh, Jean Grey costume. We've got these kind of armor plates um, on her shoulders and her wrists. Uh, so I'll get you a little look at the costume. Um, and then so she's kind of coming up on the base like this. And uh, so she's defeated this um, enemy and she's like tearing apart uh, his arm with her powers. You can see all the little parts as she's pulling it apart. That's really cool. I do like that effect. You can see the energy coming off the base like that. Okay, and then we've got a couple more here. We've got, uh, this is Dritz Dwerden from D&D, &D, the dark skinned elf. Uh, so he's got a silver sword and a gold sword and a uh, really nice green cape that's sort of flowing to the side. I'll get you a look at his face. Really nice work on the face um, and uh, beautiful work on this clothing actually. Really looks like leather. Um, and then so he's got this Black Panther on the base uh, jumping forward like this. It looks really, really great. And then so a wooden shield with some arrows in it. And then so he's actually jumping off uh, like the skull of a dragon. That looks so cool. I really like this one. And then we've got the Aphrodite. And I think she looks way better in person than uh, she did in pictures. I think she's really beautiful, actually. Let me get you a better look at her face. She looks really, really good. Um, and then so she's holding these two guns. The guns have some really nice detail on them as well. Um, as do her boots. Her boots look really, really good. Um, and I love this detail on her belt. So her belt is like also an ammo sash. It's got the little um, shells in it that go all the way around. Um, and people would be mad at me if I didn't get you this shot. So there you go, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, and then we've got, so these are the four horsemen of the apocalypse. So this is a um, collaboration they did with an artist who came up with these. So here we've got Pestilence. Um, so she's got the 
a kind of plague cloud coming out from the back of her head and she's riding this crazy looking beast so it's like a winged beast you can see the wings here and it's got these teeth that go all the way down the neck and to the mouth it's just absolutely crazy so this thing wraps all the way around and that's its tail all the way back there uh, and yeah she's so she's riding it and you can see all her armor that she's got on and have a look at her face and then she's like shooting this bow and arrow and then we've got famine um, and he's riding this like kind of sandworm thing these are just nuts like look at this so here's the mouth of it and um, so he's holding these wires like a collar wrapped around it um, so yeah he's like almost completely cybernetic the only like fleshy human part is just the top of his head you can see um, there the you know the cybernetic underneath and just all the wires and um, you know held together with straps and everything um, and he's got this big sort of double bladed um, scythe at the back yeah these are just crazy designs here's war um, on his war horse so he's got all the armor on this massive beast up on this rock and the red cape at the back and then we've got death I think this one's my favorite so he's on this uh, crazy kind of like evil unicorn <laughs> so look at its teeth really grotesque um, he's got the hood the shadowy kind of um, cyborg uh, head underneath and then he's got this um, uh, you know like sand timer but it's got like a skull and he's got the scythe and then all the armor oh and uh, so this is the underneath of the horse <laughs> with like all the teeth and stuff it's like broken open so these are the new white knight pieces so we've got Batman on the bat cycle um, but then these ones are new so it's the Joker that goes with him uh, white knight Joker so you can see uh, he's got the two different colored eyes uh, and he's got this like Batman t-shirt on <laughs> and uh, the long pistol um, and then he's on this really beautiful like bat uh, gargoyle um, it's all kind of uh, rusted and weathered and there's this sack of money on it um, this guy doesn't look like much in pictures but I'm really digging it in person actually and then we've got these two versions of White Knight Harley so we've got the black and grey version and then the more classic uh, red white and black version so you can see she's got the glasses uh, portrait on and holding the mallet she's got this beautiful red coat give you a little bit of a look at it And then uh, there's a sack of money on the base. Uh, so the money's not finished painted yet, uh, but it uh, will be money. I think she looks really nice. And then this is the black and white version. So she's got the Harlequin style uh, head on with the mask and this little pistol. And again, so it's got a black coat. Uh, and then the money on the base. I think they look really nice. So kind of based on uh, the artwork there where she's got the mallet and the glasses all right and then new also in this section is the Riddler uh, so this is the Batman Samurai version of Riddler so he's a trickster and he's got his traveling like box of tricks uh, look how beautiful and intricate it is uh, so the little doors open it's got things inside and there's a go board on the top um, and then he's got this staff with these rings actually kind of jingle um, so he's lounging on this tree uh, with this little fox underneath it's so cute it's almost like a big bonsai tree um, and then his uh, coat has the um, the symbols like etched into it uh, and then he's holding the scroll and apparently this says riddle me <laughs> which I thought was really cute I think he looks great and I think he goes really nicely with uh, the rest of the line as you can see here 
all these Batman samurai pieces. Okay, and then we've got the uh, Dark Knight's medal around the corner here. Uh, and the new one for this line is the Robin King. So we've got Robin with this uh, kind of crown of thorns uh, and this big ghostly kind of Batman up behind him. But this is so, so cool, guys. So it's like rising out of this smoke on the base uh, and the big wings and then this creepy looking uh, like sort of demon Batman. It's got this, uh, yeah, claws. It's so cool. So he's got the fur around the coat. I just look stunning. I absolutely love it. So uh, this is the new um, Ultraman display. It's got this crazy Ultraman diorama. This is actually freaking cool, guys. I have never watched Ultraman in my life, um, but I just think this is <laughs> this is really awesome. Look at all these guys. So there's Ultraman just standing uh, in his pose. Uh, all the villains, all the monsters coming towards him. I think it's freaking cool. And there's this guy with like a balloon. I don't know what this is, um, but it's funny and I like it. Okay, um, so let me get you a little bit of a look. So we've got these destroyed buildings at the front here. And then this like dragon guy and like a worm guy and like a Halloween guy. <laughs> I don't know, I'm so sorry. I don't know any of these monsters, but this is just cool. Um, I just think it's come out really freaking cool. So you've got all the monsters, there's like flames and stuff at the back here and like some smoke oh man and then there's Ultraman so he's at the front here you can see all the folds and stuff in the suit look at that I just think it's cool so then next up we have the Batcave you can see Batcave this way <laughs> so let's go in here you can hear the bats tweeting. Okay, so at the entrance we have all the schematics uh, for like the Batmobile and uh, different vehicles. We've got the beautiful white knight uh, Batman on the bat cycle at the entrance here. And then as we swing around, we've got all these screens and monitors about uh, the bat cave. It's got some info on uh, the origins of Batman and stuff like that see all these monitors and then uh, the big uh, centerpiece of this area is the modular bat cave um, so this is a prototype um, but hopefully they'll be able to sell this to the public soon so basically it's a build your own bat cave um, so you can make it as big or small as you want so you can see Batman in the middle here uh, on his chair uh, with all his monitors and stuff um, but then so we've got all these different areas so this is a trophy area with uh, different trophies from different storylines you can see the t-rex there and the big one cent and a joker card and uh, dice and things like that and then we've got uh, this section uh, with different bat suits and so you'll be able to swap these out uh, for whichever ones you want and then we've got a section with the Batmobile um, so they're hoping to be able to sell different types of Batmobiles from different eras and it's on this little rotating turntable and some more bat suits uh, down here and then over here we have the bat boat so it's like a dock. Uh, so there's like this water effect underneath. So it looks all wet. And then you've got the bat boat there. And then of course the surrounding is all uh, like a bat cave. Um, but yeah, uh, so if you want it smaller, you could only have a few pieces. If you want it bigger, you can add more. Um, this one is <laughs> pretty big actually, um, but it's got surprising amounts of detail it's got built-in lights as you can see little spotlights and stuff to illuminate it 
Oh, it looks really amazing. Really, really cool. All right, I'll just show you around the rest of the Bat Cave. So they've got um, a bit more info about uh, the different uh, modules uh, that you can buy. Um, and then they've got the uh, Batmobile and the bat boat there and then these displays um, with bat suits and stuff and then uh, on the ceiling <laughs> they've made it look like the bat cave <laughs> so they've got the little stalactites and stuff on the ceiling I thought that was a cool touch uh, and I do love the, the um, I do love the bat noises <laughs> I think it's really really cool um, so definitely stop by if you're in Singapore guys and and uh, have a little walk around um, I think it's just an awesome uh, display room for uh, Batman fans.